Welcome to this week's wellness webcast. I am your host, Mo Wolf, CEO of Little Honeys LLC. I am a practicing acupuncturist, student of traditional Chinese medicine, student of health, wellness, and lifelong student of beautiful living. Welcome to this week's webcast. Oh, it ended so soon. There it is. <laughs> uh, welcome to this week's wellness webcast. Uh, again, my name is Mo Wolf. I am the CEO of Little Honeys LLC. We are the makers of Bee Rescued Propolis Care and Bee Energized Raw Bee Pollen Products. And you can find these products at over 500 retailers around the country and in certain places around the world. Always available for you at berescued.com or iherb.com or even smallflower.com. You can purchase our products in any one of these places. Uh, last week I believe I said I was going to talk about the problem of obesity. However, uh, I spent the day in clinic yesterday working with my mentor and dear friend down in Arlington Heights and uh, got into a conversation that has pretty well dominated my thoughts since then and uh, so today instead of talking about obesity as we were planning we'll put that off another week or so why put off for tomorrow what you can do the next day right <laughs> yeah right I had a college professor tell me that once tried to turn in my paper for him late and he says got upset and I told him what he said at the beginning of the semester why put off for tomorrow what you can do the next day didn't like it much uh, <laughs> can you blame him uh, this week we are going to talk about Qigong now some of you think I sneezed and no don't say bless you or gesundheit or anything like that I can't even spell gesundheit uh, but I can spell qigong it's a Chinese ancient exercise a uh, lot of science has been done on the benefits of qigong a lot of science has been done on the effectiveness of qigong in fact there is a lot of uh, experts there are a lot of experts out there that will say there is more science that has been done good hard science that has been done on the effects of qigong on your health in fact there's more studies done on qigong than on chinese herbs and uh, chinese herbs are a very powerful modality indeed uh, that said that said uh, some of you don't even know what I'm talking about. Well, let's flush this out. Uh, the reason I wanted to talk about Qigong is because it is so powerful, so effective for good, balanced health and wellness. Uh, and a lot of folks don't know what it is. For some of you, when I say Qigong, it, you know, your mind conjures up pictures of these Shaolin monks doing these seemingly impossible stunts in serene mountain settings. For others of you, I say Qigong, and you begin to think of New Age spiritualism, uh, or any host of other uh, uh, magic and, and what might be construed, might be thought of by some to be a negative, myself included. I'm just not turned on by that sort of thing. Uh, but what is Qigong? Qigong, the, 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 the ideology of the word simply is this, the translation of the word qi, meaning vital energy, the basic energy of your body, and gong, meaning work. In other words, you're working on the basic energetic function of your body, plain and simple. That's it. There's no magic hats, wands, capes, I don't know magic words, nothing. You're working on the basic energetic physiological function of the body. Now, there are some that say, hold on now, hold on. The, let's, I don't want to talk about body energy. That's, that's a negative for me. Well, tough. Because simply denying the fact that there's energy within your body is uh, 
not going to change reality. It, it requires energy to keep your body warm. Your body requires uh, food to be brought in, to be transformed into basic uh, elemental uh, substances that the body can then bring into the cells, push into those uh, mitochondria of the cells to turn into ATP, adenosine triphosphate, which is the basic fuel for your body. Your body does not run on hamburgers. Your body does not even run on glucose directly. Your body runs on ATP. Uh, this, this, this chemical is used for burning fuel in the body and your body doesn't store it. Your body only has just about a, a minute to two minutes of ATP at any one given moment in time. The way your body stores energy is it stores it in that adipose tissue, it stores it in glucose in the bloodstream, it stores it in these other uh, uh, substances that then have to get broken down and pushed into the blood, pushed into the cell, taken into that mitochondria, that energy factory within the cell, and then turned into this ATP. ATP. Well, you still say I, I I don't buy that I don't buy that energy thing. Well, tough. <laughs> Your body, a, a good healthy human being, their body is producing 22 millivolts of electricity at any given time. That's just a fact. Uh, the cells themselves act as little tiny capacitors. You're made up of millions and billions of little tiny capacitors. Each of them are even generating their own, uh, their own charge to a certain degree through that ionic, uh, that process of the, the ions passing through back and forth across that membrane of the cell. So your body is producing electricity. We're not just talking electricity here. We're talking vital energy, which encompasses the electricity. It encompasses the, the uh, ATP and the effects of the ATP on the body. It also incorporates the concept of that energy boost you get from a dump of adrenaline, from your adrenal glands. We're talking a whole concept that envelops entire systems of the body that, to simplify things, we're just calling chi. Uh, chi is not some mystical, uh, effervescent, uh, fancy thing that you got to look through crystal glasses in order to see. Chi is real. Chi is something that science is still struggling to understand. Uh, now, Let's see if we can strip away some of the mumbo jumbo and let's see what is going on within the body with regards to qi gong. Remember, qi, vital energy, gong meaning work. In other words, you gotta work at it, okay? Qi gong begins with what, the, with what all the instructors refer to as the four pillars of qi gong. In other words, proper body position, proper breathing, proper relaxation. You're relaxing all of the muscles that are not needed to stand there, sit there, or breathe, or move through those ranges of motion. You are relaxing all muscles that are not required, and sometimes this takes focus of mind, which brings us to the fourth pillar, which is focusing the mind. Notice I did not say empty the mind. I do not believe in emptying the mind. I, my personal belief is that's a dangerous thing to do. I say focus the mind. Focus it on your breathing. Focus it on relaxing those muscles that are not necessary. Focus on trying to calm that chatter that is going on in the brain. Uh, the idea is to get the mind focused. Uh, so the four pillars of Qigong again are proper position, proper breathing, relaxing all of the muscles that are not required for the movement at hand, and focusing of the mind. Now, let's look at this. Proper positioning of the body. What is that going to do? Well, guess what? That's going to help the body better realign itself. Yes, I said the body better realign itself. Oh, look at that. Got someone calling in already. That's great. Be just a little bit. Susan will take your calls. Uh, that brings me to the to the topic. If you do have a call that you'd like to, a question you'd like to ask, go ahead and feel free to call us. It's 1-855-679, the word LIFE, L-I-F-E, extension 4. Uh, 
But let's go back and let's talk about that body position for Qigong. Your body, by forcing it to go into a proper alignment, your muscles are relearning where they're supposed to be. The body is a plastic dynamic system. It's always adjusting and moving. Even your bones are dynamic. They're not rigid, dead structures. They're structures that can be shaped and changed through force and through uh, time. The more the body is forced to move through ranges of motion while in this right, correct, balanced posture, the tissues that are involved are going to more remember that and going to be more apt and more likely to maintain that posture, which means for those of you with chronic back issues, chronic neck issues, chronic shoulder pain, for those of you with structural pain, this is going to be beneficial both in the short term and the long term. Uh, the other, the other, the reason this works is because of the whole concept of muscle memory. Muscle memory is what uh, soldiers, cops, high-end athletes, martial artists, anybody that needs to respond very quickly without really thinking about it, anyone that needs to move their body very quickly and accurately without thinking about it, it's what they're relying on and what they're doing is they're practicing that same movement over and over and over until they don't even have to think about it it's just a very quick twitch and boom it's done uh, that is muscle memory and that's the same concept that we're employing here for getting the body to remember its correct posture now the the second pit pillar was proper breathing. What's proper breathing going to do? Well, proper breathing in Qigong is your body's positioned correctly, don't forget the position, and instead of breathing <gasps> real shallowly, you're breathing <gasps> very deeply down into the Dantian, that area just below the belly button. You're breathing down deep. Now what this is going to do is this is going to help train the lungs. Uh, again, that muscle memory function. It's going to help you control your breathing, slow your breathing, and breathe more deeply. This is going to be a great exercise just from the breathing standpoint for anybody with uh, a respiratory condition, say uh, folks with asthma or COPD. You listen up. This is for you. This is what you should be doing. Now, the third pillar is to relax all of the muscles that are not required for movement. Now, this is the, f the pillar that involves lowering the cortisol levels in the body. When you can start relaxing your body, focusing on just relaxing each individual muscle, turning yourself into a jellyfish with just a few bones holding you up, uh, when you can relax, what you're doing is you're shutting off those, those receptors in the body that say, ah, oh, we're under stress, we need more cortisol. You're causing your... And what is cortisol? Cortisol is that stress hormone that's in the body. When you're under stress, your body dumps this substance into the, into the bloodstream, and in the short term, it helps you to function. But in the long term, it's a bad thing. In fact, chronic cortisol, ele chronic elevated cortisol levels has been shown to possibly be linked to certain cancers. Uh, it increases inflammation within the body. High cortisol levels chronically will reduce and impair the immune system. So this is, this is just a snowball effect waiting to get out of control when your cortisol levels are up. And when you can do an exercise that forces your body to relax, and forces the body to go into a, a, a state where it shuts off that fight or flight system, thereby turning off the stress on a cellular level, that cortisol level goes down. The body can start to repair. The body can go, oh, this feels good. Wouldn't you like to have that? Now, the fourth pillar is focusing the mind. Again, I did not say empty your mind, Luke Skywalker. I hope I don't get sued for that. George Lucas, I'm sorry I made the reference. Please forgive me, sir. Uh, <laughs> I'm not making any money on this, so don't sue me. <laughs> uh, focus the mind don't empty it focusing the mind is going to get the brain to actually start 
connecting with some of those muscles that it hasn't connected to in a long time. Uh, some of those little muscles that are connected to each individual vertebrae. When you are doing your qigong and you're moving your body through its range of motion and moving each little vertebrae through its range of motion, you're causing the brain to reconnect with those muscles so that way they start to fire again. And sometimes these muscles that have not fired in so long, suddenly they're going to start to work again which in some studies has shown qigong to be effective on chronic back pain issues. So you're, you're causing that brain to focus on doing one specific task. You're closing the chatter. That is, how, many of, how many of you have, have had those times where you get a song that gets stuck in your head and you can't get it out and you're thinking, goodness sakes, I wish I wouldn't have listened to Engelbert Humperdinck. Now, <laughs> I'm really coming out as a nerd here, aren't I? I don't have a pocket protector, although I carry a pen. Uh, so I'm not a card-carrying nerd. I'm, I'm just a, a nerd wannabe, which in some cases I suppose that's worse. Okay, Mom, I'm sorry for embarrassing you. Mercy Joy, I'm sorry for embarrassing you. Family. Focusing the mind, it helps the, the mind to get away from multitasking, go to unitasking, and it helps shut off that fight-or-flight response. Uh, I've seen patients that come into the clinic and they are anxiety, they're complaining about stress, and their body's all clamped up like this. Chinese medicine. Hey, liver chi stagnation. The liver governs the sinews. Those sinews, uh, if the liver's all clamped down, nah, I'm going to get you. If the liver's like that, so are all the muscles. The idea is to free course that liver chi, uh, get those muscles to relax. You can do that simply by focusing the mind. In fact, there are qigong exercises that target liver chi, uh, various zang fu organ chi. Uh, what are... Some of the benefits, well, some of the benefits as listed on webmd.com include, and listen to this, these are beautiful, greater stamina and vitality. How many of you would like that? Reduce stress. We talk about that a little bit. We talked about the, the, the whole connection of the brain and the hormones in the body. It in, has been shown to enhance the immune system. It's been shown to improve cardiovascular function. Ooh. When you're practicing your qigong and sometimes you get that vibration in your hands and they, the practitioners say, oh, you are feeling the qi. Well, in a sense you are because what you're feeling is that, that vasodilation of the, the venules and capillaries in, in even the most distal portions of the body. Uh, and what that's doing is that's helping to nourish all of those cells, get that glucose into the cells so that that glucose can get put into the mitochondria. The mitochondria can produce more ATP. Boom! You've got more fuel for the body, which means... Remember that great function of the chi, that great portion of the chi, which is ATP? There it is. You're improving your cardiovascular function. You're improving your circulatory function. You're improving your lymphatic function. You're improving your digestive function. How many of you have digestive issues? Well, here's an exercise that you can do to help with that. It's been shown to lower blood pressure. It's been shown to reduce the risk of falling. Listen up, you elderly folks. Listen up, all of you folks who love an elderly person who, or who have a loved one who is affected with Parkinson's. This exercise has been shown to reduce the risk of falling because it's improving that balance. Uh, other benefits compiled for our list which didn't come from WebMD but you can just do a simple Google search and find out are increased peripheral circulation. We talked about that a little bit with that vasodilation. What, is this, what does this mean? What particular group of people should this be of interest to? Hey, do you have diabetes? Huh? This is going to help you. Greater flexibility, reduced body pain. So you folks with fibromyalgia type pain, Qigong is going to help. And, you know, the list goes on and on and on. Uh, there have been studies done that are very impressive. Studies that are not just 
a six-week study with 10, 20, 30 people. We're talking one of these studies in corpus 20 years, encompass 20 years. Some of these studies are hundreds of people. Some of them are thousands of people in the test groups. Uh, one of the studies mentioned on WebMD talks about a 20-year study on high blood pressure. In this study, both the control group and the experimental group were screened for hypertension and then they were started on the appropriate high blood pressure medication. All right, but then the experimental group was also given some qigong exercises to incorporate into their lifestyle, their routine. Well, what this study found was, and again, this was a 20-year study. What this study found was uh, the folks that were on just the blood pressure medicine alone, their blood pressure would continually go back up, go back up, go back up. They'd have to go back and they'd have to readjust their blood pressure medicines, increase the dosage, do all kinds of things to help try to keep manage this blood pressure. But that experimental group that had the blood pressure medicine and the qigong exercises, well guess what? Their hypertension stabilized much more quickly and in many cases they actually saw that blood pressure go down to where they were reducing the amount of medication. Now, this isn't me saying this. This is WebMD. These are some pretty persnickety guys. Hard to get them to admit to any of this stuff. Uh, but that's a 20-year study that showed that, that the uh, Qigong exercises have been shown to reduce blood pressure. Qigong exercises have been shown to reduce body pain for folks with fibromyalgia. We're talking a very simple low-impact exercise that can be as intense as you want it to be. Remember, it's, it's an exercise that you'll see very old folks in China going through these Qigong motions, and then you'll see these young, these young Shaolin warrior type dudes doing it for strength training and Yes, it can be done for strength training, and it's very good for strength training. It's very good for endurance training. Remember, it's been shown to improve vitality and endurance. Uh, it's a very powerful, potent tool. And there's nothing mystical about it. There's real, genuine, physiological function taking place. Uh, I was just informed that Mary from Ohio called in and she asks, do I recommend Qigong for children? Well, Mary, I do. Uh, in fact, I teach my children Qigong exercise. I don't teach it to them so that they can be all mystical and wear their fancy clothes. No, we do it in our shorts and t-shirt. Uh, the idea is you're teaching their body better body mechanics, better, better balance, better control of their functional movement you're teaching their bodies to be able to shut off that fight or flight mode. What happens to kids today? They are stuck on these video games and they're and their thumbs are going a mile a minute and instead of carpal tunnel syndrome like we had in the 80s and 90s from keyboards, you have thumb syndrome where their thumbs are all inflamed from the video games. Uh, they, they go to school and there's loud music, there's people fighting and they're just living in fight or flight mode. Well, Qigong gives them an opportunity to calm that, li hi calm that hyper liver yang down and uh, get their bodies back onto uh, a very calm state it shuts down that fight or flight mode. Uh, so, yes, I do recommend Qigong for children. I recommend it from a competent teacher, one that is going to uh, honor and respect your personal beliefs, because again, once we start getting into some of these alternative medicines, there are some folks who say, ah, ah, red flag, red flag, I don't want to be any part of that. I was talking to a gentleman last night who was worried about doing yoga uh, uh, because it might conflict with his personal beliefs. The gentleman and I share some very similar first principles ph philosophically and religiously, uh, and I can respect and understand his concern. And I told him, yes, there are some religious connotations to some of these yoga poses. However, what is going on on a physiological level? 
what are you doing functionally in yoga? You're doing isometrics, you're doing stretching, and you're doing breathing. You're also focusing your mind, all right? It sounds very similar to Qigong, except you're not necessarily moving through full range of body motion like you are with Qigong. That's why I like Qigong better. That's my, my, my opinion. Now, for some of you, you're still not going to be able to go through some of these movements. That's fine. Don't do it. If your conscience bothers you, don't do it. For some of you that your conscience is clear, uh, you're not feeling convicted over it, go ahead. Just don't get sucked into something that violates your personal belief. Very simple. Uh, the health benefits of the Qigong are powerful. They are uh, very, very strong. Can children do it? Yes. Can old folks do it? Absolutely. In fact, one study uh, suggested that folks with Parkinson's, elderly people with Parkinson's, showed a slowdown in the progression of the disease just by adding Qigong two, three times a week to their life. Wow, that's pretty, that's pretty effective. Uh, so, yes, definitely add Qigong to your workout routine. Uh, if you want to look at some examples of what we're talking about here, that just go onto YouTube. You can Google Qigong exercises on YouTube. Uh, I guess you can't Google YouTube. You have to YouTube YouTube. Search YouTube for Qigong exercise. Qi, Q-I. G-O-N-G. Uh, if you want to look at some Qigong exercises that I have put up to demonstrate for you, you can look up my name, Mo, M-O-W-O-L-F, Mo Wolf, uh, Qigong, and it'll give you a list of some of the videos that we have up. Uh, we also have Father's Day coming up here. Do you know that? If you don't know that, you're in trouble because you know what? you've got just a couple of days. Now, if you are anywhere within the Midwest, you are still able to get an order in today at berescued.com and get an order in for the the gentleman's care kit. Uh, the gentleman's propolis care kit is going to come with the best shave gel in the world, the best shave your dad has ever had. It's going to smell great. It's going to feel great. It's not going to lather up. He's not going to look like Old Yeller. So it's going to take a little getting used to for him because he's used to looking like a rabbit hound dog. Uh, pretty him up. Give him the shave gel. Best shave of his life. No razor burn. No irritation. It's going to tonify that skin. It's going to be the best shave of his life. The Propolis Care Kit for Gentlemen also comes with the toothpaste. We talked about this the last couple episodes, last couple webcasts, just some of the great benefits of it. Uh, uh, best, best stuff for cleaning your teeth. It's the only clean toothpaste out there that's actually good for you if you, if you swallow it. The other thing you're going to get is our Be Rescued Propolis Care propolis rescue balm. This can be used as an aftershave or as you see I've been out in the sun. It's great for putting over that that sunburn, soothing the sunburn. It's great for any irritations if your dad has a workshop. Great for his hands after he comes in from working with that wood or welder or what have you. Uh, lastly, comes with a propolis lip balm. Ask your mom why your, your dad needs propolis lip balm. She'll tell you. <laughs> uh, good. I did this webcast and the microphone was actually recording, so that's 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 a nice change, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> so go to be rescued propolis go to be rescued.com and make sure that you get your dad his propolis care package for gentlemen right now. 
Uh, you do that today. We're able to get that order out before 3.30, 4 o'clock. And if you are in the Midwest, it's one-day transit. It'll be delivered tomorrow in time for Father's Day. If you are elsewhere in the country, you can ask for that order to be overnighted so that way it gets appropriately in time. Uh, you do this now, and all web orders between now and Father's Day, Sunday, that come in for this propolis care package for gentlemen, we will also throw in the propolis aftershave lotion, which is just the most beautiful blend of uh, shea butter and lemongrass. Oh, it's good stuff. Uh, ladies, don't steal it from your husband. Let him, let him enjoy this. Uh, this is good stuff. So, for all of you that are going to place your order for a gentleman's propolis care package, get that order in today. We will get it out, and between now and Sunday, we're going to throw in an aftershave lotion for free. Free, I might add. Can't have a free lunch, but you can sure have a free aftershave lotion. So, what did we talk about today? We talked about utilizing a very basic, simple, low-impact exercise to impact your health and the health of your family. Uh, an exercise that has some very strong science suggesting that it is going to knock your socks off, it can lower your blood pressure, it can help with chronic pain, it can help with uh, improved balance in the elderly, it can help with lowering stress. We're talking I hate to use the term magic bullet or panacea, but we're talking something that is, well, it's a gift. And according to the Holy Scriptures, every good and perfect gift comes from above. So when we are faced with a good gift, you know what? We should be thankful to our Creator for it, and we should go ahead and focus our mind and utilize it so that we can be better stewards of the temple that he has made us into. First uh, Corinthians, you're a temple of the Holy Spirit who is in you. Do you not know? Have you not heard that? Well, you have now. Uh, therefore, honor your Creator with your body. Uh, thank you for joining me. I thank you for your time. Uh, I'm deeply humbled by all of you who have been writing in, thanking me for these webcasts. Uh, I, I hope that they are a blessing to you. That's why I do them. That's why we do them here. We do them so that your family can be blessed, your family can be uh, informed, and your family can learn the tools for better wellness. You're a steward of your family. Take care of them. On behalf of everybody here at Be Energized and Be Rescued, I want to say be well. Thank you.